Today I'm going to show you how to grab an affiliate's link and send it to them. So in this example, I'm going to use the Tomahawk Shades account. It's a little bit more complex to do this because this will this implies that the publisher is in the program, but they're either lazy and don't know or don't want to take the time to grab their affiliate link or they just need to they just need your assistance you know whatever it is it doesn't matter our role is to to help you know each and one every one of our partners so someone says hey Brent you know I, I need some help grabbing my link this is how you'll be able to do it so you go into the program at the very top hover over toolbox and then under links and tools click on link builder once you're in here it's very simple. Once again, we're in the Tomahawk Shades program. So the destination URL is to which page you want to create this link for. So, so if someone says, hey Brent, can you link me to Tomahawk Shades bestsellers page? Yeah, we can do that. So you'll go to Tomahawk Shades, find their bestsellers, which I'm just, in this case, I'm just going to do a shop all with their bestsellers appearing at the top. Take this link copy it and paste it into this destination URL field. So now you'll see Tomahawk Shades Collections bestsellers. Now you can add a click parameter if you would like. It really isn't necessary. In this case, if you're just sending a publisher their link, um, we can use that for other features. But for now, just in this example, we're gonna leave that blank. And then click Generate Link. Now you'll see as you generate your deep link at the bottom of the page here, you have a pretty big and drawn out link. Now, you take this link and there's some pieces to this link that you need to be aware of, really only one being the most important. As we go through, you'll see about halfway through, you get this three exclamation point ID three exclamation point. So this link right here that I'm gonna copy is a link for nobody right now. So I'm going to just copy and paste it into a new browser real quick. What you have to do to that three exclamation point ID is you have to put the publisher ID in that spot. So I'm going to leave that for right now just so that I can do this. And I'm going to come back in here and find just a random publisher. So I'll go to publisher management. If you're doing this for a particular publisher, it'd be good to know it beforehand. But let's just take the Today's Business Test account, which the ID is 566583. So we're going to copy that and come in here to our link. Once again, find the triple exclamation point ID, triple exclamation. We're going to remove that and paste the Today's Business ID. So this link should now be, by doing that little switch, should change it from a generic random link to a Today's Business link. And if I click Enter, there's a way to double check this is accurate. So I click enter, and one you'll see I get taken to the bestsellers page. That's good. It should go to the page that you specified in there. And then looking at our UTM parameters, which are typically at the very end of this link, as I scroll to the right, well actually in this case it's more in the middle, but you'll see this UTM medium. UTM medium correlates to the publisher ID for whose link this is. And you can see 566583, which if I double check should be the today's business link, and it is. So in this case, we have successfully created a today's business tracking link. And I would send that to, in this case, today's business, but if you're doing it for any other partner, you would send it to the partner with their ID and everything like that. So that's how you do it, pretty simple, just literally plug and place or plug and replace the ID with the publisher ID you need to send it to, and you're good to go. If you have any questions, please let me know.